The theme of this ceremony is that these two young, driven individuals have decided that they are better off together than on their own. Today, they join their lives in the union of marriage, and from this beautiful place, we take ourselves out of our usual daily routine to witness a unique moment in their journey. There's nothing more significant in this world than finding people with whom we feel safe, secure, and most truly ourselves. We search to find the person most accepting of our flaws, even the ones we try not to show until the fifth date or so. We search to find the person most encouraging of our dreams, even those crazy impulsive ones that never really get off the ground. But most of all, we search to find the person who loves so unconditionally we can't do anything but believe it. Janie and Lawrence believe in their love story as all of us do who have come here today. As they go forth in the next great chapter, they do so with confidence, knowing their search has come to a fruitful end. Janie and I have literally walked our entire lives hand in hand. Our moms, who are sisters, were close. Uh, and growing up, we, our houses were three blocks apart, so we really didn't have a choice to be close. <laughs> Every single ballet, hula class, singing recital we were in together. We went to different elementary schools, but as soon as the weekend came, we were always at each other's houses. Same story with middle school, then comes high school, when we actually lived together and started giving my mom gray hairs. <laughs> then came college, I moved away. Time, time to time we would hang out or talk, but not frequently. Real world, more responsibilities, hanging and talking became less frequent. But the craziest thing is we can go cold turkey for months and still finish, finish each other's sentences. <laughs> Here we are today, finally your wedding day. I can't tell you how happy I am that you found the man that you want to do life with and spend forever. There are going to be challenges along the way, but the best thing about getting past those dark days is the learning to grow together. Always talk to each other. Remember to laugh and never stop reminding each other why you fell in love. Lawrence, thank you. <laughs> thank you for loving her the way that you do. I know it takes a lot of patience to deal with her. <laughs> it's no secret that she can be a big brat <laughs> and that her way is always the right way. <laughs> that you are appreciated. <laughs> So um, now if we can all raise our glasses. Yeah. Cheers to the newlyweds. May you love, not kill one another. 
as you spend every waking day together. Cheers, you guys. <laughs>like a role model to me he influenced like my music taste to my personality my sense of humor everything as a little kid I always looked up to him he's a role model to me I've known Janie since nursing school little did I know when I met her in nursing school that I didn't know that she'd be my future sister-in-law you know it's wild you know every time like I hung out with her in like nursing school and like we're in a little study groups and stuff she would always say man Marvin you, you always look so familiar I think I know, are you sure you were in my class back in high school? Turns out she was talking about my older brother. They were in the same class. And then that's when she started like, she started looking up Instagram, looking up pictures. And she was like, dang, he's pretty cute. And Jane was like, hook a sister up. And you know what I, what I did? First thing I did was I was egging her on every single time that we went out to eat Korean barbecue or whatever. I was like, hey, send a text, send a text. I got the number right here. Send a text. And you know what? The very, very first text that she sent, or the one that I egged her on, it was to send an emoji. It was, it was send an eggplant. And you know what? And, yo, at, at the same time too, when she sent it, I was texting my brother and said, hey, 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 she's gonna send this. Yeah, yo, yo, you gotta send the peach back. Send the, send the peach, send the peach. And then she showed me, yeah, oh yeah. Peach came through. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're out going ice, getting ice cream in Christmas. I don't know, it, it's cold, but all right, ice cream. <laughs>
first found out that Lawrence was going to propose, the first thing I thought was how happy Janie was going to be. She's talked about weddings to me years before, even before we knew who her groom was. <laughs> so I knew this was going to be <laughs> something exciting for her. On the day of the proposal, it was a cloudy day at Sunset Cliffs, but as soon as Lawrence got on his knee, the sun came out and the sun started shining down on him, on both of them. Even as a spectator, that moment when the sun shined through the clouds, it just felt truly special and I'm so happy that both of you found each other. So cheers to the both of you and cheers to an amazing life together that's filled with love and happiness that you both deserve and I love you guys so much. Janie, it blows my mind that you were able to take a regular guy like me, HS, to go out on our first date. I was just joking when I asked you if you want to get ice cream sometime after Christmas. <laughs> but you agreed to get some anyways. But ever since then, you pulled me out of my dark days, made my days brighter, laughed at the most random things, and gave each other the best support. For once, I have never felt more happier than before. I don't want this to stop. I feel like my true self when I'm with you. After all these years throughout our journey, I can't believe that the same loving, goofy, hardworking, and beautiful fine lady is standing with me on our special day. When I had my cardiac arrest last summer of 2020, I thought my life would be much more difficult. After the doctors and nurses brought me back to life, gone through th surgery, and implanted a pacemaker in my chest, That whole tragic event turned out to be a blessing in disguise. You, re you re reassured me that everything will be okay and to never give up, especially knowing that you're a cardiac nurse. And look at us now. We both got our careers, we got engaged, and we became first time homeowners. To this day, I'll, I'll never forget what I thought my life was going to be hard. I just want to let you know that loving you was the easy part. I found my sole purpose in life, and that's to give you my everything and make you the happiest woman on earth. Lawrence, today we stand here, finally about to become husband and wife. I vow to you that every day forward, for the rest of our lives, I will love you. <laughs> I will help you towards your goals in the same way you have helped me towards all of mine. I will be your comfort when you need it and your partner in life who will stand by you no matter what life throws at us and even help you understand the medical terminology from your cardiologist. <laughs> I will work towards building the life that we have always dreamed of having together. I vow that I will always be your best friend 
and your loving, faithful wife forever and always. Before the angels try to take me away from you again, Janie Lynn Ordonio, I promise to give you my strength, protection, and all my love and care. With the pacemaker in my chest, I promise to do whatever it takes to stay healthy, live long, and keep my heart beating for you. I promise to give you infinite amount of foot massages and crack your toes after your 12 hour night shifts. Uh, I promise to put down the toilet seat. <laughs> and I promise to give you the, you know, the boom boom in the bedroom. <laughs> Janie Lynn Ordonio, I vow to love you more and more each day. Thank you for being a huge part of my life. I can't wait for the future, what the future has for us. I'm ready to go, grow old with you. Janie, my piglet. I'm so happy for you. You grew up strong, beautiful, and turned out to be a really lovely lady. You have a beautiful voice. Maybe like mommy, but I think it's from me. <laughs> Janie. You also now living in your house, at Lawrence. Just like at first when you finance your own car, <laughs> I was happy. You just make me more proud. As you can see, she's my firstborn and the love of my life. My father's love will always be there. Please remember that. That means I always have my open arms for her, so take good care of of my piglet, my put-put. You are a very good man. Since you are taller than me, better looking than me, then I can only say that much. On serious note to you, both of you, love each other, trust each other, patience and understanding with each other as you are now as one. Quarrels are normal. Silent treatment is a worse in the relationship. Stand. Learn how to forgive and may not be easy to forget, but at least try. Pray to God and ask for His guidance all the time. And sooner or later, you will multiply, I hope. I'm requesting a toast for the new Lubed, Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence Rivada.
Alice. Let's give her a round of applause on that one, everybody. Because she asked me to sing a song tonight, but I'm going to turn it on her and have her join me. Thank you. 